Betaflight GPS rescue mode. The two most important things I've found that are required to make sure it works is a good satellite signal as well as making sure that it's set up properly on your transmitter. I have a uh, crossfire transmitter I use. I set it to cut. I put my GPS module on top of my battery. It gives it the best uh, placement for keeping it away from the electronics for, you know, stay away from noise as much as possible. I don't think the GPS unit matters all too much. The type you get, I use an iFlight GPS module, it cost me like 20 bucks, no big deal, but it works every time. Um, make sure you have plenty of satellites, um, and to get plenty of satellites, you need to make sure your GPS unit stays noise free. On my transmitter, I've got the Crossfire module, the full size Crossfire module, and use the Crossfire module to set the fail safe on the receiver, on the Crossfire receiver. So from the menu, you just go into the receiver and you go general and Fail safe mode, you see I have it set to cut. So instead of FS position, I have it set to cut. That seems to be the best. Or that seems to be the way that you do it in order to uh, make it work with Betaflight properly. I don't think I'm doing anything too special with my Betaflight settings, but let's find out. Configurator. I don't even have a barometer connected. You can see that no barometer connected. Just on my GPS, I have GPS, U blocks, auto config. And if you go to, I guess you have to go to expert mode for fail safe options. Okay. So I just have auto on all the channel settings except on GPS rescue. I have set to GPS rescue. So on fail safe, I don't set fit to fail safe, I set to GPS rescue. So, and then just set to rescue. GPS rescue on fail stave. This is all default, I'm pretty certain. So I'm setting AUGS 3 to GPS rescue is what's going on. So if you go to like my, uh, my, what is it, modes? If you go to my modes and you look at GPS rescue, you'll see that it's on AUGS 3 at uh, 1900. That's it. That's all I do for GPS Rescue. Works every time for me. Works great. So that's it. That's all uh, I do for GPS Rescue. It's nothing too special. Uh, the three things that I think are most important. Make sure that you have your receiver set to cut for fail safe on your um, transmitter receiver. Make sure that your GPS is in a great spot to get satellites uh, you know, located on your uh, drone. And make sure that you set your fail safe mode to GPS rescue. Don't set your fail safe mode to fail safe. I think that'll put it in some weird feedback loop or something like that. So just set your fail safe mode to GPS rescue. I think you're good to go. On a side note, something that I learned about GPS modules, because I did a bunch of research on it, by research I mean searching YouTube videos, is it seems that the GPS module uses a frequency that's close to a uh, frequency noise that digital VTXs make. So if you use a DJI or a SharkBite video system, they produce a good amount of noise in like the megahertz range or something like that. And it seems like the GPS modules try to transmit and receive to a GPS, you know, a satellite 
around the same frequency. So you gotta watch out for those digital VTXs. Try to set it up so your GPS module turns on before your uh, VTX does, so it can try and acquire a satellite before you turn on the VTX. I think once you have enough satellites connected that you're probably going to be pretty good to go, but I don't have a GPS on my digital quad anymore. I just have it on that analog on my analog quad because it works great. Okay, that's all.